Hello and welcome to all. The salaries of professional footballers have evolved considerably in recent years, sometimes reaching astronomical sums. Some stars of the game are receiving salaries that defy understanding, as is the case of Neymar Jr., who earns no less than 36.8 million euros a year. But the fact that they are paid more than the Queen of England has an impact on the modesty of these players, who usually take a big hit and disappear completely as they earn even more money. The example of Cristiano Ronaldo, slamming his money into cars and palaces and arrogantly displaying the signs of his wealth, is representative of a footballing environment undermined by egocentricity and narcissism. But just as every rule has an exception, the case of Sadio Mane proves that it is possible to be rich and famous while keeping your feet on the ground and your head on your shoulders. This brilliant player with an exciting success story played football barefoot on gravel, before rubbing shoulders with the biggest stars on the pitch. Starting from nothing and coming from a very poor family in Senegal, Sadio is now one of the highest paid players on the planet, and his fortune continues to grow as his talent unleashes its full potential. But far from wasting his money on stupid material trivia, the player has chosen a wiser path, the one of reason. So, sit back and relax, because today we're going to find out how Sadio Mane spends his millions, and you'll see that it's really amazing. Let's get started. Before talking about his fortune and how he spends his millions, it would be wiser to tell you about the character, and how he started his brilliant career. Sadio Mane was born on 10 April 1992 in Bambali, a small village in Moyen Casamance, in the south of Senegal in West Africa. The natural splendor of this forested region is matched only by the extreme precariousness of the population, which has had to face the horrors of civil conflict since 1982. Indeed, in Casamance, where Sadio Mane grew up, the situation is far from being as peaceful as in the rest of Senegal. From the beginning of the years 1980 until 2005, after the ceasefire, there was a fierce conflict between the independent rebel forces movement of the democratic forces de Casamance who were demanding independence for the region, and the army of the government of the country, causing the deaths of several hundred people during clashes, not to mention the many victims of anti-personnel mines afterwards. The minefields preventing their exploitation, people very quickly suffered famine in Bambali, as in several other villages, largely dependent on the land. On 10 April 1992, in conditions of extreme poverty, the man who would later become the best wingman in the world was born. Fortunately, very early on, little Sadio was infected with the football virus, and with a ball at his feet, he showed virtuoso qualities. However, he had to fight not only against need, but also against the advice of his father, an imam of a mosque in his state, who did not see his son's passion for football in a positive light. The latter would even go so far as to beat him to dissuade him from playing football, but he soon realized that it was pointless, especially when his 15-year-old son ran away for a week to try his luck in the capital Dakar. Finally, Sadio Mane persuaded his family to let him leave the village to meet trainers in the city. He then went to Embur, the biggest football town in Senegal, with his little makeshift equipment, shabby shorts and damaged shoes. A local talent spotter spotted the future star and pointed him towards his foot generation, one of Dakar's many clubs. A significant advantage is this club is part of the foot generation nursery, which is scrutinized by European clubs looking for promising young players. Placed on the side of the attack, Sadio is doing wonders and contributes to the club's accession to the Senegalese second division at the end of the 2010-2011 season. He then joins France and FC Metz, conquered by his touch of the ball, always in partnership with Foot Generation. But despite his promising debut, Sadio will not shine so much in France, because landed freshly in an icy Europe and far from its African sun, he has trouble acclimatizing and even suffers from a pubalgia that causes him great pain, but he hides it all the same to be sure to play. His potential is not lost on anyone, however, and the Red Bull Salzburg, won over by the player, does not skimp on the means to buy him in Metz. Sadio signed with the Austrian club in exchange for 4 million euros, then the third highest transfer fee in the history of FC Metz. It is thus in Austria that the native of Bambali takes off and demonstrates the extent of his abilities in the field. He played 87 matches and scored 45 goals, including three hat-tricks. 
He finished the 2013-2014 season as the club's top scorer with 15 goals in all competitions. Seduced by his technical ability and incredible energy, clubs in the English league coveted him and Sadio was then transferred to Southampton at a cost of around 15 million euros. Sadio, who proved to be an outstanding talent on the English Premier League pitch, was recruited by Liverpool, who paid a handsome 36 million euros for him, making him the second most expensive player in the club's history behind Andy Carroll. He quickly won over the Reds fans, and was a force to be reckoned with in the formidable attacking trio of Salah, Firmino and Cochino. The 27-year-old attacking midfielder let all his artistry shine through and helped take Liverpool to the top, winning his first Champions League title in 2019 with Liverpool's 2-0 win over Tottenham Hotspur. The club also won the UEFA Super Cup against Chelsea, in a match in which Mane scored twice. It was no surprise then that the tireless Sadio was awarded the 2019 African Player of the Year award, placing him 28th in the standings for the Golden Shoe. It is a real consecration and also a beautiful irony of fate for a player who played his first games, barefoot. Yes, Sadio is now one of the highest paid players in the planet, and his salary at Liverpool used to be 9 million euros a year. But since the player has negotiated an extension of his contract with Liverpool until 2023, his fees could rise to 13 million euros annually. For the club wants to armor its star player, who has never made any secret of his ambition to play for Barcelona or Real Madrid, the mythical clubs that made him dream during his childhood. Sadio Mane is therefore rolling in gold as you might expect, with a weekly salary of over €250,000, the equivalent of over €35,000 a day. Yet despite these fabulous sums, Sadio Mane remains a model of humility, and unlike most football stars, he doesn't blow his millions in fast cars and boisterous parties, and doesn't wallow in ostentatious luxury and bling-bling. The Reds member is a homebody by nature, and while he shines on the field, he is rather discreet and shy off the pitch. But above all, the Bambali native does not forget his very modest origins, because life taught him very early on the true value of things and people. Sadio Main's relationship with money is far removed from the stereotypes of football stars of his kind, and shows no apparent signs of opulence. When other players come to training sessions at the wheel of Ferraris or other cars, wearing luxury watches and expensive jewelry, Sadio remains sober. As a perfect pragmatist, the player doesn't squander his money, far from it, he rather makes it grow by investing in real estate in his native country. After putting his family permanently out of need, Sadio has turned his attention to his community, which he has never forgotten, by the way. Although he remains very discreet about his humanitarian actions, the star confessed to having offered nearly €240,000 for the construction of a modern high school in Bambali. He is also financing a football stadium for young people, again from his own money, and buying clothes, shoes and food for those in need. Generous and considerate, Sadio makes a nice gift to his village, sending 300 Reds jerseys to its inhabitants, always at his own expense. It can be argued that these good deeds towards his country and his fellow citizens are only the tip of the iceberg, as the player is known for his almost legendary discretion. Sadio's generosity is likely to go far beyond a few hundred thousand euros, and his devotion to the well-being of his fellow citizens, body and soul, is likely to be in the millions. A generosity that is welcome in his native region, which is struggling to get back on its feet after enduring the storm of the separatist conflict. The Senegalese star remains the most criticized of the Taranga Lions for his performances for the national team, having missed the last penalty against Cameroon in the quarterfinal of the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations, which meant elimination for Senegal. The Senegalese people, who could have been angry with him for not having led the Taranga Lions to the African title, easily swallowed the pill and his image was not tarnished. For the Senegalese, Sadio remains the child of the country who didn't have a rosy life, but who succeeded without anyone's help and yet doesn't forget his own. His integrity and his great modesty make him a charismatic figure and a source of pride for the whole country. And if the Liverpool star ever plans to take a well-deserved retirement, it may well be in his home village of Bambali, which has changed a great deal since the days when he played football there with torn shoes.
But for now, the 27-year-old star is not yet at the end of his career, and he could well be bought out by Real Madrid, who are keeping a very close eye on him. The man who is said to be the best winger on the planet could therefore raise the stakes, as Liverpool are certain not to give him away at the low price. Sadio Mane could therefore be worth a lot more money in the future, and his income could be multiplied by three. A reversed horn of plenty for this youngster who comes from the most severe poverty, but whose altruism has become legendary, we are sure he will share it with others. So, what do you think of Sadio Mane's beautiful epic, which took him from total destitution to extreme wealth? Did it impress you? Give us your feeling in the comments.